Hey everyone, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Quick comment on something going on in the world right now. There's a lot of talk out there, you've probably heard, about a possible World War III. A lot of threats coming out of North Korea. Test firing missiles, the response of the United States, you got Japan involved, South Korea, China, Russia. It's a mess. And nobody really knows who's to blame for this. We could throw all kinds of comments around about that. That's not what's important at this point though. It's what do we do about it? And are we really listening to even the words of the Blessed Mother, Fatima, 1917, July 13, where she tells us that if man does not stop offending God, there'll be a second war. I brought this up in many talks before. I brought this up in previous videos. I've brought this up hundreds of times all over the countries. I've talked about these messages of Fatima and many other people have as well. We have been warned by heaven. We've been told by heaven and we see it in scripture. God allows war because of man's sin. Back to 1917, July 13, what did Our Lady say to those three little children in Fatima? What she told them was that this war, World War I, would come to an end soon. But that if man did not stop offending God, there would be a second war, and it would be far worse than the first one. All right? The death toll by the end of World War I was in the area of 20 to 25 million lives. The death toll by the end of World War II was in the area of 70 million lives. Now, there have been other prophecies from other Marian apparitions, all approved by the church, where she has talked about a possible World War III. Now, this is something we have to take seriously. We can't go over to North Korea and negotiate some sort of a deal. We can't interact with Russia, China, South Korea, Japan. We're just not able to do that. Who can, really? Very few, very few people can do those things. There are those who can. But what every single one of us can do is we can pray and we can get after souls for the sake of conversion because that's what the Blessed Mother is saying over and over and over and over again is necessary to avert war, to mitigate chastisement is conversion. Urgent call for conversion. So what are you and I going to do today? What are you and I going to do today? Not tomorrow, today, to reach out for more souls. Look, one soul reached is better than no souls reached. Let's get after the one soul. And let's do it first with deep prayer and then heroic action. And let's be relentless in the pursuit of reaching souls for the sake of of bringing them to Christ. It's not some feel-good approach. This is not some, let's just preach the nice words so everybody can feel better about their lives. We're talking about a threat of World War III. The need for conversion is huge. And every single one of us needs to be involved in this. We need to be engaged in this. Face it, there's a lot of people who will pay no attention to this. They will laugh at this. They'll talk about political negotiating and treaties and empty saber rattling rather than looking at this from the viewpoint of heaven. And heaven has sent the messages to the Blessed Mother herself. This is about the need for the conversion of sinners. The more we kick God out of our lives, the more we reject him in our world, the greater chance we have of a World War III hitting us and hitting us hard. So, no excuses. Be relentless. Bring souls to Christ and start today. Spread this video. Share it with others. There's a lot of people who won't even talk about this. Maybe you're uncomfortable. Maybe you, you fear risking that conversation. I'm not afraid to bring it up. So, share the video with others. Let's get this in people's heads. Let's try to reach that heart, the 12-inch drop from the head to the heart. Get after souls. Get after them now. Get after them today. God bless you.